Hello everybody and welcome back to The Rich Lay. Today we are making strawberry jam. I just started making jam last year after I fell in love with Olivia Pope's idea of making jam in Vermont. So I've been giving it away throughout the year and I thought this is the perfect gift to give away for Christmas to those people who haven't already gotten it or those people who want more. So if you're watching this and you're on my list, here's your present. So what do we need to make jam? There's some specific things that you're gonna to have to have equipment wise to be able to make jam. The whole process is not terribly difficult, but you need certain tools. The first and the biggest is a canning pot. As you can see, it's a pretty big pot. And then inside we actually have a rack, which we're going to use to raise and lower the jars as we are putting them in the hot water. And then of course we need our jars, right? We've got our jars and we've got our lids and our screw bands. You can purchase these at any craft store, grocery store even, uh, amazon.com, all of these tools. This is a funnel we're going to use to pour our jam once we actually cook it into our jars. And then we're going to use this jar lifter to lift our jars from the hot water. We're gonna use this magnetic lid lifter to lift our lids from the hot water. And then this item right here doubles as a spatula to remove air bubbles and also as a ruler to measure the head space, which is the distance between the jam and, and the lid. And each jam, type of jam you make, will have a certain head space that you need to adhere to. So that's very important. So what is all of the deliciousness that goes in your strawberry jam? Surprisingly, not that many ingredients, which I love. We're gonna start with about two pounds of freshly sliced strawberries or the big package of strawberries from the grocery store. We're only going to use two cups of sugar, which is rare when you see a jam recipe, and I love that. And we can do that because of the particular pectin that I use, Pomona's Universal Pectin, requires that you don't use that much sugar, which is awesome. And then I use a fourth cup of prepackaged lemon juice. You don't have to use freshly squeezed lemon juice for this recipe, super easy. And then a half teaspoon of butter. I love butter. And in this recipe, it helps prevent foaming when I'm actually cooking the strawberries. So that's it, just a few simple ingredients that you can get from the grocery store. And then you can make your jam, super easy, super good. And right now I'm just gonna pour directly from the pot into each jar. And I'm gonna stop just short of the top because remember I said the head space I'll need to measure. So I can adjust it if I need to, but I don't like going over. I like to add, I don't like to take away. So I'm gonna stop just short of the top. And then for each one, once I pour it in, I'm gonna use my spatula to remove any air bubbles. And then I'm gonna measure to see where we are. Okay, so it looks like I need a little bit more, probably about a fourth of an inch. So I'm just gonna put my funnel back on, add just a little bit. Hopefully that wasn't too much. Okay, that was perfect. All right, we are right at fourth of an inch from the top. So what we can do now is put our lid on and then we're going to use our screw band to screw it just fingertip tight. So this is not like, hey, you've been working out, you wanna show your strength here. You just want it fingertip tight, okay? And then we're just going to repeat this process for each of our jars. All right, here we are at our last step, which is processing the jars. So I'm going to see my rack is at the top. I'm gonna to place my jars in, I want them standing straight up, place the jars in, and then I'm going to lower the rack. Now I'm using the same water that I've used the whole time. I have not switched water or anything like that. 
I'm gonna put my top on and then I'm going to bring it to a rapid boil for 10 minutes, just 10 minutes, nothing less, nothing more. That's very important to the processing uh, part of this. And then after we take our jars out, we're going to put them on your wooden cutting board. You're not gonna put them on the actual counter because this is very hot glass and you don't want it to crack. So take them out carefully, just like this. All right, so now it's time to make your strawberry jam nice and fancy. Everyone likes a pretty gift, right? So what I've done is I've used these chalkboard labels and I've placed them just on top of the lid and I use my chalkboard marker, which I love to just write strawberry jam. And then I tied a little decoration around here. You can use ribbon, you can use cord, whatever you want. Again, just to fancy it up. And I put it in a nice bag. Again, people love nice packaging. So place it in the bag, and then I've added this cute little label. On the back, you can give people direction. So you need to refrigerate this after opening. Don't use it for longer than three weeks, and keep it on your shelf for maybe eight to 12 months unopened, okay? Very simple, such a nice, lovely gesture. People will love it, I promise. So make sure that you actually give away your strawberry jam. You don't actually eat it all before I see you again. Speaking of which, stay tuned because we will be doing more handmade holidays here at The Rich Life. So make sure you subscribe so you can keep up with all the latest updates, okay? All right, I'll see you next time at The Rich Life. Take care, everybody. Mm -hmm.